Hello, this is Rogerson from We All Play Cast, and I'm back with another tutorial by popular request. Uh, a lot of people have been looking at our Let's Play series and have been asking about how we got SPACs to be get working in Feed the Beast Ultimate Packs and as well as some other packs from Feed the Beast. So this is a tutorial on how to accomplish this. All right, all the links that we'll be going through in this tutorial will be in the description of this video. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment and I'll be happy to answer them. All right, the first place you want to go is there's actually a forum post on Feed the Beast Launcher Packs. And there's a couple things you need to get SFAX to work. If I go down here to right around the download section of this page, uh, the couple things we're going to need to get. First, we're going to need to get the original BD Craft Texture Pack. So I'll go ahead and download that. And looks like it goes to another page. And personally, I am... I'm a 64-bit guy, so I am going to get the Minecraft 1.4.7 64-bit Sfax. So I'll go ahead and download that. And whenever possible, I really find it's best to try to get the original poster and the original creator's uh, links. Because people put their ad flies on here, and I fully believe in having whoever created it, if they wanted to make a little bit of money on the side by from their work, uh, I have no problem clicking a link for them. So now that it's downloading our original Sfax Pure, our Sfax Pure BD Craft, we need to get the 64-bit add-on. As you noticed, I did use the 64-bit, but if you picked 128 or 32, you want to pick this, uh, whichever one corresponds to what you got. So I'm going to go get the Sfax add-on. And you see this one's through Mediafire, and there's the download link right here. All right, so that's going to give us our two files there. So what I'm going to do is I want to show in folder. It's a little bit off the screen here, but I'll pull that up. And I'm going to grab that file, and let's just create a new directory for this so it doesn't get too crazy. Um, let's open up our texture pack folder here, and I'm going to grab the original Sfax that we have, the Sfax Pure, Pure BD Craft, right here, 64-bit, and also the Sfax original pack which is the oh that's not even done downloading Sfax Pure BD Craft that's the one I just moved okay so we got the Sfax Pure BD Craft now we're just waiting for the feed the beast it should be done in 11 seconds as you can see it's pretty heavy so we'll wait for one moment as that completes one other program while that's waiting is you need to have 7-Zip, and I'll also include a link to this. It is free. It has a ton of different things. There's a few programs that you can use to do this. I prefer 7-Zip myself. So I'll go ahead and close that. Let me just copy the link real quick. And it looks like our Feed the Beast pack is done. So I'll go ahead and show that one in the folder. And I got our Feed the Beast 64-bit Sfax add-on here. So I will go ahead and move that over, over into our Texture Pack folder. And here we go, Feed the Beast 64 Sfax add-on, yay! It looks like there was an update since the last one that I had here. Alright, so we go to our original one, which is this one right here that I just downloaded, as you can see, 412. And we want to right-click, 7-zip, open archive. I'll just pull that over into the screen and resize it a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on. It pulls up everything that's within that zip file. Now what I want to do is take the Sfax add-on that I just got, the 64-bit, 7-zip, open archive, and we're just going to arrange these so they're pretty close to each other in the pack. So here we go. All right, now from here it's pretty simple. What you want to do is take the original Sfax texture pack and then go to the other one, highlight every file, drag, and drop them into this archive. And it'll take a moment to go through and add it to the archive. And then you'll get this little message that says, are you sure you want to update the archive? And you say, yes, I do want to update the archive. Of course I do. And what that's going to do is add all of these files and even overwrite some of the files in the original texture pack. So now we have our base Feed the Beast texture pack. Now, as probably a lot of you guys have seen and know at this point that this texture pack, even when it's uh, updated like this, is still missing quite a few things. And I think that's where most of your questions lie. I'm actually going to get rid of some of these uh, extraneous packs here. So we have our original, original pack here, but it's missing a few things. And a couple things of note, uh, when you're on this original post, if you go down a little bit, there is, it'll, it'll look like this. It says texture pack, 
texture pack patch credits. And if you show the spoiler, it shows all of the different original posts for all the different mods that are in the pack. All right, say for instance, Greg Tech is one that I don't think was included in this patch pack. So what you want to do is go over to Greg Tech, and I believe that's this one right here, and download this. And as you can see, I did that already. Another one that is fairly recently completed into the 64, well, like I say, it's still work in progress, but it's uh, fairly complete of the 64-bit is Thomcraft 3. So that one is over here. I'll post the link, link in the description, but they are all available here. And the best way to find that out is if you launch the game, put the texture pack in, you may find that there's a few invisible blocks or there's a few still vanilla texture packs. What you want to do is find out where those items are coming from, what mod, and then you do a search in Sfax up here on the bdcraft.net site for whatever mod it might be. So for instance, say it was um, advanced solar panels. Okay, we'll do a search for that. I think that's what the mod's called. Yep, advanced solar panels. It is a new mod pack here. And that includes things like, uh, yeah. So there's a couple of different ones here. This one's a little bit tricky. So it looks like there is up to date for Minecraft 1.5.1, which is what we want. This is up to date for 1.4.7. So that would be the 64 bit here, which is the one that I'm using. Okay. I'll go ahead and download that as well. All right, now once you have the individual packs already downloaded, and since they're missing, you do the exact same thing. But the one thing that is important to remember is to use this file, and sometimes when you're doing this manually, there's always a problem. So what I normally do is I'll copy this and paste it. And I'll say, uh, I'll rename and call this, um, I don't know, something like backup. You know, just in case it doesn't work. So that way, if you modify it and it totally messes everything up, no problem. So what you want to do again is 7-zip open archive of the texture pack you want to modify. And then we'll go ahead and grab our files that we downloaded. So we'll just do one for now because every single one has done exactly the same thing. We'll do... Uh, Thomcraft 3, why not? Because it looks like that was new since I last downloaded it too. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the texture pack here. Where's the texture pack folder? Okay, grab this TC3, work in progress, 64-bit. And I will 7-zip, open archive, and that gives us our Thomcraft. And I'll open up our other 7-zip window, grab that Thomcraft, drop it directly in here. Yes, I do. And then you're done. And that's simply it. So our file right now is fax pure BD craft 64 times MC 14.zip. And that's one thing you want to remember if you're like me, you have a ton of different texture packs that end up in your texture pack folder. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch up my Feed the Beast. All right. And we'll just launch the ultimate pack. It's the one I've been using as of late. Okay, and then once you have your game booted up, what you want to do is click on the texture pack portion here, and then you want to select the one that we just added. In our case, it's the Sfax Pure BD Craft 64 times MC 14.zip. And you click done, and this does take a few moments. Uh, so I'll cut the video here, but it just has to load in all of those new textures. Okay, and now that our game is loaded up, we can take a look at what textures we have and how this pack worked out for us. So if I go over here, let's take a look at our Thomcraft stuff. Looks pretty good. Oh, cool. It looks like they updated the uh, work tables. I think that's what it's called. Uh, work tables, work benches. So those have been updated even since the last one, so I definitely want to keep this pack. But usually what I'll do at this point is I'll open up an NEI, and I'll just kind of tab through all the different pages to see if there's anything that is missing. I'm looking for vanilla textures, or I'm also looking for perhaps maybe a uh, missing blocks also is something that we look for. So just tabbing through here, it looks like Red Power 2 is pretty good. Forestry looks good. Uh, that was uh, Mistcraft pages. Thomcraft, and here's like another one. Now, I'm not sure what mod these conveyor belts come from. I haven't used them personally yet. But it does look like they are still a vanilla texture. So what I'll do is I'll do a Google search to find out what mod that's from. 
And then as I showed you before, we'll search in these facts on this facts page to see if we can find an updated version. So we'll keep on going through there. And one other thing I wanted to check out because it was a problem before was the solar panels. So we'll go to the advanced solar panels. Oh, cool. Look at that. Our irradiant reinforced plates have been updated in the pack. Very nice. So excellent. So it looks like we got a couple of things to update and I'll go through and actually update my pack. But if anybody has any questions about how to do this or is running into any problems, feel free to put a post on this YouTube video. I'll be happy to reply. So if you like this tutorial, if it helped you out, please hit that like button. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. Until next time, bye.